Hey, Wes. Hi, Martin. What are we building today? Well, last week you showed me your weather alerting app. You said you'd like to optimize it by pulling the values from a cache instead of hitting an external API every time. Yeah, and I read up on the new CPU allocation controls in Cloud Run, so let's do that. All right, Wes, uh, could you walk us through your weather alerting app? Yes, of course. When I enter a US state abbreviation in this text field, the app hits api.weather.gov to get the weather alerts for that state and then displays them to the user. Nice. As you can see, it's a web app, and I didn't want to maintain any servers or virtual machines, so I deployed it to Cloud Run. It's running pretty well. So Wes, I'd imagine weather alerts don't change second by second. Uh, so is there an opportunity to cache these alerts? Yeah, that's a great idea, Martin. By caching those weather alerts, the app can respond faster to users, and our bandwidth bill is reduced. We also use up less computing resources for our friends at weather.gov. Sounds like a win, win, win. Yeah, that's right. So I want to cache the weather alerts for all 50 states. Well, I could schedule a job with Cloud Scheduler that updates this cache every five minutes, but now with Cloud Run and it's always on CPU, uh, we don't have to do that. Normally, Cloud Run throttles the CPU after your service has responded, but with this new feature, we can keep the CPU at full capacity for background tasks like updating my cache. And on top of that, we get a discounted rate too. Uh, I can see how an always on CPU would be useful for other things beyond updating caches too. Uh, for example, open telemetry tries to send tracing data to the server when the CPU is less busy. Yeah, that's right. I mean, this is useful for Go Go routines, uh, Node async calls, Java threads, Kotlin code routines, and Spring Boot background functionality. I'm sold. Let's do it. All right. Well, first, I'll edit my Cloud Run service in the Cloud Console. Then I select CPU is always allocated and then redeploy. Wow, that was easy, Wes. Yeah, and now in my code, I'm going to add a loop here that updates the cache every five minutes. And you've implemented update cache uh, further down in the code? Yep, down here. Take a look. So I added all of this after the standard get and post processing. Any viewers who are interested can see the implementations in the linked repo. Uh, looks good. Uh, time to deploy? Yep, and here goes. All right, looks like it's done. Uh, I'll use the service to get the weather loss for California now. Uh huh. Okay, looks like we didn't break anything. Uh, what do the logs say? Let's see. Well, here I see that the cache is being updated for all 50 states outside of any requests. And here I see that the service returned a response to you and that it was read from the cache. It's working. Very nice. Uh, how much will we pay for this? Well, regarding costs, note that we are being billed for more time, meaning rather than just the time when instances respond to requests. We're now incurring costs for an entire instance's lifetime, meaning from when a container is started to when it's terminated. On the other hand, we get a big discount, 25% less for CPU, 24% less for memory, and we won't be charged per request fees for either requests or background tasks. I like that. Uh, how does CPU allocation interact with cloud auto-scaling? Well, Cloud Run's auto scaling is still in effect and may terminate container instances if they aren't needed to handle incoming traffic. Also, an instance will get shut down 15 minutes after processing its last request unless it's kept active using main instances. Once your instance gets shut down, any background work will also get killed. In general, always on CPU is good for high and even loads or if you want to run background tasks. Those background tasks could be your own code or libraries like OpenTelemetry or Spring Boot. Good to know. Thanks, Wes. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you have any questions for Wes or me about CPU allocation in Cloud Run, or feedback on this episode, or suggestions for future serverless topics, please let us know in the comments. Bye for now.